the chapter we are doing today is square and square roots now what are squares and what are square roots now see square means any two number multiplied two times what is the square of 2 it will be 4 what is the square of 3 it would be 9 square of 4 would be 16 what is square of 1 it will remain 1 only so these are known as the squares right and what do you mean by square roots? Means the square root. For example, if I ask you what is the square root, these are represented with this sign. This means why which two by multiplying which two numbers did we get 16? We multiplied 4 two times, right? To get 16. So what is the square root of 16? It is equal to 4. Similarly, if I ask you what is the square root of 25, it will be equal to 5. So these are known as the square roots. Understood? Now let us discuss some of the properties of square and square roots. The first property says that numbers ending with 2, 3, 7, 8 are not perfect squares. Let us take any example. Uh, let us take 2 only, single digit number. Is it a perfect square? No. We don't know any two, num any two such numbers by multiplying which we get 2. We don't know? Right. That means the examples for this would be 2. Let us check 12. 22, 32, 202 or any other number you can think of, 702, right, 1622, here the numbers ending with 2, 3, 7, 8, any of these, let us take 88 or 18, all of these are not perfect squares. So once you are given the question to identify whether the question, whether the given question is a perfect square or not. What you do is you can use these properties directly and ask and you can check your own self that whether the given number is a perfect square or not. Now the next property says that the numbers ending with odd number of zeros are also not perfect squares. For example, let us take 10. In the number 10, how many zeros are present? One zero is present. One is odd or even it is odd that means 10 is also not a perfect square what about 100 100 has two number of zeros and 2 is a even number that means this is a perfect square the number of zeros should be odd so what do we do we put another zero now this has become 3 now this is number number of zeros is having 3 so now we can say that this is a or this is not a perfect square. Why? Because the number of zeros it has is odd. Similarly, you can have any number say 200 or 2000. You can say directly because 200 will have two number of zeros. It might have. Another question, another example is 1890. Now see it has odd number of zeros. It will also say that the number is not a perfect square. Let us move on to the third property. The third property says that squares of odd numbers are always odd. This we have already checked earlier in the above examples. What is the square of 3? Three? 3 is an odd number. It is 9. What is the square of 5? This is 25. What is the square of 7? This is 49. Square of 9 is 81. Right? And so on. That means the square of odd numbers are always odd. What about the even numbers? The square of even numbers will always remain even. For example, 2 square is 4, 4 square is 16, 12 square is 144 and so on. Similarly, moving on to the next property, squares of negative integers are positive. Why so? Let us take one example, say minus 2. If I want to do the square of minus 2, that means I will be multiplying this minus 2 two times. That means I can write it as minus 2 into minus 2. What do we get? Minus and minus becomes plus and plus 2 and 2 becomes 4 only, right? So here we can say that when you take the square of any negative number, that will always come equal to the positive. Let us take one more example. Okay, uh, let's take 6 of this. Now, here also you can see that if you multiply minus 2 times, that will get converted into plus only. So, no matter what, you will get your answer as positive only. Moving on to the next property, that is square of natural numbers is always equal to 
the sum of odd consecutive numbers. Now, I'll start with the natural first natural number. What is the first natural number that we know? It is 1. If I want to do the square of natural number, that will be equal to sum of odd consecutive numbers. What is the first odd consecutive number? 1. 1 square is always equal to 1. Similarly, you can check for the next, next natural number that is this 2 square. Now, this will be equal to the sum of odd consecutive numbers. We are taking the second number. So, how many numbers we will be taking? 2 numbers. I will take 1 and 3. Just check. What is 2 square? It is equal to 4. And what is 1 plus 3? This is also equal to 4. Similarly, if I take the square of 3, that will be equal to the sum of first 3 odd consecutive numbers. That is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5. Just check. 3 square is equal to 9. What is 1 plus 3 plus 5? This is equal to 9 again. Similarly, let's check for 4. That will be equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. Both give you 16. Moving on to 5 square will give you 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. Just check for yourself. Both the answers are giving you 25. So, this property is true for all the natural numbers.